Thanks for listening to English Go podcast. If you'd like to listen without adverts, read episode transcripts, or listen to extra bonus episodes, please check the description for more details. Here's a cool fact: a crocodile can't stick out its tongue. Another cool fact: you can get short-term health insurance for a month or just under a year in some states. United Healthcare short-term insurance plans are designed for people who are between jobs, coming off their parents' plan, or turning a side hustle into a full-time gig. Underwritten by Golden Rule Insurance Company, they offer flexible, budget-friendly coverage with access to a nationwide network of doctors and hospitals. Get more cool facts about United Healthcare short-term plans at uh1.com. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot. We charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right. We're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from thirty dollars a month to just fifteen dollars a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com/slash-switch. Forty-five dollars up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promoting for new customers for limited time. Unlimited, more than forty gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. Easter's in full bloom at Whole Foods Market with great deals on spiral cut bone in ham and leg of lamb. Both crowd pleasers. Round out your spread with quiche, deviled eggs, and delicious catering platters from prepared foods. Oh, and remember to pick up a Whole Foods Market bunny cake from the bakery. Strapped for time? They cater too, with delicious options available without the effort. Find hundreds of Easter deals and delights now at Whole Foods Market. It's Easter Sunday today, and if you celebrate Easter, then Happy Easter to you. Um, in England, we traditionally celebrate Easter.、Um, it's a religious holiday, but even those of us who are not religious tend to celebrate it. And Christmas is sort of similar. I'm not really religious, so I'm not the best person to tell you about、um, the religious side of Easter. Although I think I have,、um, if, like, in one of my past sort of Easter episodes. But I will tell you that for an awful lot of people, Easter means Easter eggs,、uh, chocolate Easter eggs,、um, in the UK. And this year, I I'm in Japan, like I was last year, and just like last year, I don't have any chocolate Easter eggs. I haven't seen them for sale over here. And I went on to Amazon Japan, and you can buy them from there, but. They actually get shipped from England, so they wouldn't have arrived until way after Easter. So there was no point. So I've I've gone without、um, an Easter egg this year, which is okay. It's、uh, it's not a problem. But I do like. I mean, I'm not such a big chocolate e- eater, to be honest. I don't eat a lot of chocolate, but I do like Easter egg chocolate, and I don't know why. I mean, I've got a theory. That perhaps because it's a, a product that's only made for a short time, you know, they only exist for Easter. That maybe the chocolate's a bit more fresh. I don't know. Anyway, there's a, a f- couple of things I want to talk about to you today. Talk about to you. Talk to you about today. Ah,、huh? I want to talk to you about. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh dear. Sometimes I forget English, so don't don't worry if you do the same.、Uh, English people do it as well. Um, so there are a couple of things I want to talk to you about today.、Uh, one, you might have already noticed, I have changed the logo for this podcast. I've updated it. It looks pretty much nothing like the last、um, podcast logo did.、Um, and the reason is, I wanted. Well,、mm, there's a few reasons. One of the reasons is, to be perfectly honest, I never really liked the last logo. I thought it was a bit too busy and very London centric.、Um, centric means sort of centered around, so very centered around London, very focused on London. You know, it had all of these,、um, it had all this scenery from London in it, and then, and you know, I I like London. I think it's a really nice city, but、um, the UK is a bit more than just London. So yeah. Um, the next reason is that I wanted it to be less busy. I wanted it to be more simple and just like easily recognizable. So if you take a look at the new logo,、um, you'll see it's quite a simple design. 
And all it, I mean, this is really simple design. All it is this time is just a giant Union Jack flag. And in front of that, the text English Go. And then on the top and bottom, it says British English Listening Practice. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that people who see this this logo, this image, um, will instantly understand what the podcast is about. Um, other things I have been up to recently, I have a website now um, that I'm still working on, and it's not really ready yet, so so I'm not going to bother telling you to go out, uh, go and check it out or anything like that. It's um, it's a work in progress, work in progress. So it's it mean that means it's it's not finished yet, still being continued. Um, and why have I got a website? I suppose it mostly comes down to having more control over certain things, and this leads me on to my next topic. Um, so another thing that I've been doing recently is I've been going through all of my old episodes from the beginning and editing the audio. Uh, because when I started podcasting, um, I didn't really know what I was doing, to be perfectly honest. I was just making episodes um, to help my girlfriend, who well, my wife now, but my girlfriend back then, I wanted to help her learn English, and so I just started recording, and I wasn't really thinking about, ooh, let's make sure the quality is great, um, or ooh, let's you know use an amazing microphone or or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to give her uh, more listening practice. So I've been going back through those old episodes, editing them, and trying as much as possible to make the sound sound more like it sounds now. So for anyone who's listening to the older episodes, um, the plan is, you know, to to make them all sound similar to how the modern episodes sound. So I'm also getting rid of the background music I used to have in um, the early episodes and the introduction messages I used to have in the early episodes. And along with doing all of that, I am also generating... Um, generating? I'm also making, creating uh, transcripts for the early episodes, um, which is something I've wanted to do for ages. I mean, it's a, it's a huge amount of work. It really is. I've got over 270 episodes that I need to add transcripts to. Um, but the reason I've never started on this before is because, and, and plenty of you have asked um, for these um, older episode uh, transcripts, is because uh, on the the place I normally post them right is is Patreon, and on Patreon I can't set the date of a post to be in the past. So if I upload some transcripts to Patreon, I can't say, oh by the way, this this uh, transcript was from twenty twenty. And what it will do is it will stick it right at the top above everything else. Um, and I even wrote to their like customer support, you know, their support team. And I, I told them about this problem, and they said, oh, yeah, thanks very much. Uh, we'll pass that on to our engineers or developers or whatever. And that was over a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe. And I don't think they're going to do anything. I mean, it's a really basic feature. It's huge. It's so easy to do. This is the thing. It is so easy to do that, to just let you set your own date. I can change I can make I can change a date. I can set it to like a date in the future. Um, you know, so I can schedule a post to automatically upload a date in the future. But they just won't let me do it in the past. It's not about is it um you know, is it easy to do or is it hard to do? For whatever reason, they've decided no, we don't want to allow people to do that. Um which for me is really annoying because I can't give you the old episode transcripts, which I think could be incredibly useful. So this is the main reason that I've had to buy my own hosting, uh, website hosting, and buy my own website domain, you know, like the address, and install my own software on there, and, you know, spend quite a bit of time, to be honest. I, I've, I mean, luckily, I've got a bit of a holiday now. It's like the Easter holiday, and we have a bank holiday 
what's known as a bank holiday in England. It's called a bank holiday because the banks usually close down and then businesses can't do business if the banks are closed. Um, that's how you, well, I don't know. That probably doesn't happen anymore. That's what used to happen and that's why it's still called a bank holiday. So we've got we've got a bank holiday on the Friday, um, you know, a couple of days ago, uh, and a bank holiday on the Monday. So I had a nice four-day break, which is why I've thought, okay, let's just get this problem sorted out. I've been investing lots of time, hours. I, I don't even know how many hours. I would say, if I was to take a guess, I'd say I'd probably spend about eight hours on this now in total, if not more. Um, so yeah, getting everything set up. And then finally, just so, just so I can post things for you and I can say, actually, this happened in 2020, you know, this recording. Actually, this happened in 2021. It's such a simple thing. It's, <laughs> it's to be honest, it's so annoying. I can't do it. Um, but anyway, I've got a solution now. Um, so... I will keep you updated and I will let you know when that's finished. I think it's going to take a long time um, because there's so many uh, episodes to to transcribe. But my, what, my dream? Is it a dream? I suppose it is a sort of a dream. My dream um, is to be able to say, like, you want to improve your your, um, English listening ability, right? Go and listen to my podcast. There are enough episodes to listen to one episode every day for a whole year and I'm getting close to that now I mean what episode number is this I've forgotten it's like 340 something maybe or I don't know Um, but I'm getting close anyway um, so that's what I've been up to lately I've been very busy with it and um, I've got some more some more things I want to do some more plans um, now that I've got this um, website up and running Uh, But I'll let you know about those in the future. There are some things that I think are going to be very useful for you. Uh, Anyway, until next time, I hope you have a lovely Easter. Bye-bye. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready to get 30, ready to get 20, 20, 20, ready to get 20, 20, ready to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promote for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A. FDA approved for over 20 years. So talk to your specialist to see if Botox Cosmetic is right for you. For full prescribing information, including boxed warning, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. Remember to ask for Botox Cosmetic by name. To see for yourself and learn more, visit BotoxCosmetic.com. That's BotoxCosmetic.com. Easter's in full bloom at Whole Foods Market. With great deals on spiral cut bone in ham and leg of lamb, both crowd pleasers. Round out your spread with quiche, deviled eggs, and delicious catering platters from prepared foods. Oh, and remember to pick up a Whole Foods Market bunny cake from the bakery. Strap for time? They cater too. With delicious options available without the effort. Find hundreds of Easter deals and delights now at Whole Foods Market. Need new glasses or want a fresh new style? Warby Parker has you covered. Glasses start at just 95 bucks, including anti-reflective, scratch-resistant prescription lenses that block 100% of UV rays. Every frame's designed in-house, with a huge selection of styles for every face shape. And with Warby Parker's free home try-on program, you can order five pairs to try at home for free. Shipping is free both ways, too. Go to warbyparker.com covered to try five pairs of frames at home for free. warbyparker.com covered. The number one selling product of its kind with over 20 years of research and innovation. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, is a prescription medicine used to temporarily make moderate to severe frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead lines look better in adults. 
Effects of Botox Cosmetic may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness may be a sign of a life-threatening condition. Patients with these conditions before injection are at highest risk. Don't receive Botox Cosmetic if you have a skin infection. Side effects may include allergic reactions, injection site pain, headache, eyebrow and eyelid drooping, and eyelid swelling. Allergic reactions can include rash, welts, asthma symptoms, and dizziness. Tell your doctor about medical history, muscle or nerve conditions including ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia gravis, or Lambert-Eaton syndrome and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. For full safety information, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. See for yourself at BotoxCosmetic.com.